Finding something good in a bad situation. Today, a local nonprofit got some much needed help. The city auctioned off several properties after one of its employees used embezzled money to buy them. New Channel 7's Victoria Scott has more on how the auction is helping local homeowners. The aftermath of the Michael Johnson case caused city leaders to take action in restoring stolen funds. Johnson embezzled more than a million dollars from the Friends of the After School Assistance Program and the city's Community Redevelopment Agency. One way they're trying to give the money back is by putting the 11 different properties Johnson owned up for auction. We went through all of this so that we wouldn't create other waves in the wake of of trying to write what was wrong. However, tenants currently live in 10 out of the 11 properties. Commissioners agreed to extend tenants' leases to next April to ensure they aren't automatically left without housing. So in addition to the, the lease being extended, there's a $5,000 option for each tenant to be used towards any kind of expenses, uh, moving out, any kind of deposits, anything of that nature. Commissioners well. say the liquidated money collected from the auction will go towards the Friends of ASAP. So all the money that is that is generated from the proceeds of the auction will go to the Friends of ASAP and making that whole again. In Panama City, Victoria Scott, News Channel 7. Well, the auction officially ended this afternoon. The city will host a special meeting Friday morning at 8 o'clock. It's going to be at City Hall in room 10 to discuss the results of the auction.